the episode has a ton of heart and emotion to it. You get a sense that not only uh, are they going to miss high school and proms in general, they're going to miss this little town in Texas too because it had an effect on the characters. It also had an effect on the actors. Yeah, me too. I didn't really know what to expect when uh, we went to Honey Grove. Uh, I expected to, to meet some kids that were, you know, excited for us to be there, but I didn't expect to be sort of touched by the admiration that they had for our show and for what we were doing. The man right here. The man. Yeah. He's the reason we're at Honey Grove. I think they really appreciated it on a, on a really deep level, and that was something that I came away with a really good sense of appreciation for. Once we left, I was kind of sad to go, you know. I was kind of sad to leave those kids that made that video because they they were sad to see us go. And it was so genuine. Um, it was really something that I think I was touched by. It was just overwhelming to, to have that kind of support. It really reminds you of, of what it can mean to people when, when you get to reach out a little bit. And it's not generally something a television cast gets to do or even is given the opportunity to do. So... It meant the world to us to have that. Being on set, they were great. They were so respectful, so genuine. Um, and it was fun to have them working on set and getting their hair and makeup done and doing the scenes with us. And it was just an all-around cool experience. The Honey Grove experience is definitely something that's rewarding. And it's something that I don't think will go quickly forgotten. I think that the people there will appreciate it, you know? I mean, you've got people come up to you everywhere you turn and just being happy and grateful fans who have been following the show for years. You know, we have a, a great fan base and they're really dedicated. And so I, I think the opportunity to go to a small town and, and, and get to see the admiration that they have for the show and the love, it, it, it kind of makes you feel pretty good inside. It was one of those experiences I don't, I don't think I'll ever forget. Haley says in the episode, I'm going to miss Honey Grove, and Miles says, yeah, me too. There's a lot of cast and crew that said the same thing. You know, that was, that made it that much more special. The last day we had the contest winners together, and they knew it was the last day, but they were holding it together really well. You know, um, there weren't, there were maybe a couple misty eyes, but they were, they were pretty rock solid. And um, we were holding it together too. You know, the cast had a great affection for them, and I certainly had a great amount of fondness for, for those kids and their families. And, and so I just called them together, and one of the main points for the trip for me was really about them and their lives. It wasn't as much about the show and making a show in their hometown. And so I called them together, and I read this quote. It's a quote that ends episode two of season one. Ready? Yeah. All right, listen up. This is the quote that I put on my wall when we started making One Tree Hill. Okay. And it's really all about don't give up. Don't Whatever makes you unique. Whatever makes you special, don't let people take that from you. Don't decide at an early age to be bitter or negative or pessimistic. Make sure you continue to see not only the magic in the world, but the magic in yourself. As you go through life, you ready? It says, do not let your fire go out. Spark by your replaceable spark. And the hopeless swamps, the not quite, the not yet, and the not at all. Do not let the hero in your soul perish. And lonely frustration for the life you deserved. I've never been able to reach. We're in the grove. The world you desire can be one. Thank you.